Ozzy Griffin. And this is a video to Hannibal the Victor 13, Jordan Owen, a few different people, basically everybody you cares to watch. Recently, Hannibal did a response to one of Jordan's videos, which was a response to his, which was talking about uh, intellectualism going off message and gender politics. And he said one thing, now I disagree with a lot of what he said in the video. I'm just being upfront with you about that. I still think the guy overall is doing, fighting the good fight. I just disagree with the tone he used. Now, he said one thing that's really stuck out in my mind, which is that legitimate academia doesn't care to dirty its hands, you know, dealing with the faux intellectuals like Gail Dines or the uh, political ideologues like porn harms or stop porn culture. And I get it, okay, I get it. It's beneath you, it's stupid, it makes your head hurt every time you deal with these people. I get it. On the other hand, these people are visible, they are vocal, and they're not going away anytime soon. And I think that if serious intellectual minds do not get into Uh, do not get into the fray. These people will become more and more dominant, and they'll, they're already becoming more and more prominent. Now, regardless of which cynical groups are manipulating them, I think it is definitely time to have a... Uh, what do you call it? It is definitely time to have a revival of what I call a public-private partnership. I believe that we need to take authors uh, who have done personal research, um, you know, who have, you know, studied things, like take your man Thomas Sheridan, I know I bring it up a lot, however, he's done an inspiring amount of work, when he did Puzzling People, The Labyrinth of the Psychopath, if he had have done what the Freakonomics authors did, which is two guys get in there, one of them can write a really interesting book the other one can compile the statistics and put a couple of letters behind their name to give it some intellectual clout. If he had done something like that, he might be in the, in the bestseller list. If he had of, um, you know, if Jordan Owen were to do his deconstructing porn land and had a legitimate intellectual, um, you know, rubber stamp and put their name on the front cover with his and say, yes, I approve this message, or, you know, this is intellectually valid, you would see a whole sea change in the way the discourse goes. And I've got to tell you, I understand why intellectuals don't want to weigh in on contentious debates. I get it. It's comfortable in your ivory towers. You know, it's okay to sit out there and say, well, I'm a professor and I've got tenure. As long as I don't say anything controversial, I can count on this job and my pension being there until the day I retire. I get that. I get it. The problem is, though, people... I think it was uh, PZ Myers uh, who was saying uh, in a debate... Oh, I say a debate. Uh, in a lecture he gave that it was getting through the conditioning of when he was teaching at high schools or uh, beginners courses in biology at university he said that hacking away through the misinformation wasted uh, that people had already accrued about biology and creationism and, uh, and malformed understandings of evolution uh, was hamstringing his ability to just teach his student, students from the word go so he was uh, what do you call it? Yeah, and he was making a good point. It is time for people with academic qualifications to team up with people who are good at communicating and to bring uh, information to the public that is either misrepresented or, poor, or poorly explained when it is well represented. If we don't have that, the people that do not care about true or false are going to be much, much more persuasive. And the people manipulating them, 
for their own cynical purposes, are going to win. You mark my words. So it's time for the intellectuals to grow a pair of tonsils and to get out there and do some good work. Because if they don't, we're all in trouble. You have a good one.